For the last few years, there's been three tricks which I've been performing all the time. They've been getting me great bookings and lots of great reactions when I perform. I've finally decided to routine them together and release them as a combined set. You'll learn 20 minutes of sensational close-up magic, a killer opener which packs two very strong magical punches into a very short space of time. Then I'm teaching my current favourite version of the coin in hand plot. Stranger Bleak is an extension of my original Tequila Husker effect, but this time instead of one person, you can do it on five or six people at once. Finally, I'm going to teach you a closer, which is unlike any other trick you've ever seen. It's the favourite trick I've ever created and the favourite trick I've ever released. It is Limelight. What makes it so powerful and so much fun to perform is that it doesn't focus on the performer, but it focuses on a participant and makes them the absolute star of the show. Every single trick in this set is designed for maximum impact. There's no complicated sleight of hand, nothing complex to learn, all very easy to, very direct, very commercial, and in the package you get every single thing you need to perform all three tricks. So listen, here's what normally happens. Um, card tricks are like a linear flow, aren't they? You pick a card and it goes back, the magician shovels it and he finds it. This is kind of the opposite of that. I'm going to use this deck of cards here. And uh, one of them is important. I'm going to write down what it is. So you're not going to get to see it, but you three are going to get to see what it is, okay? I'm going to write it down on this little post-it note here, which I'm going to put onto the box. So now we've got a prediction of what the card's going to be. I need to actually pick a card. Okay. So I'm going to ask you just to touch the back of any card. Just touch one. Don't take it out, just touch it. This one here, specifically yeah. this one. Here's the card you touch. We'll put that there. Yeah. Let's have a look at the rest of them, see if we see it there. Not it's not there. Of all these cards that you could have picked, you picked the five of clubs. Do you want to see what I wrote on the box? Turn it over. Yes. Have a look. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write something else down. And this time, none of you know what I've written. Five of clubs is here. Okay, so we'll give these a cut. And I'm trying to do something sneaky so that you don't know where your five of clubs is. In fact, I'm going to get you to do it, so I'll hold the deck. Cut about half the cards to here. Yep, and put them down. And then you give me a little cut again. Complete the cut. Now that you've cut the deck, I couldn't know where it is, could I? Okay, yeah. So it could be anywhere between one and 52. Yeah. So take the cards. Deal the first card of the two clubs is number one. Two, three. So the five of clubs wasn't any of the numbers? No. It's completely gone? <laughs> yeah. How can that happen? <laughs> You've either miscounted, I've hypnotised, you or some weird's gone on. Do you know which one it is? Some weird's some gone weird's on. Some weird's gone on. Yeah. Turn over and see what the other thing I wrote on the box was. On this one? Turn it over. What's it say on the box now? It says inside. Show the camera. <laughs> it says the word inside. inside. Five of clubs. Uh -huh. It's not in the deck. No. Nope. Check it out. Can I look at it? Mm, take it out. <laughs> What's inside? <laughs> right there. So, we're going to play a little game. It's a little imagination game and it's very, very simple and each of you is going to get to play a role. And the role is either of a liar or a truth teller, okay? So each one of you is going to be one of those things and it's going to be decided randomly who the truth teller is. So George has got a pile of coins here. He's going to give um, or hand them out. You can grab them, whatever. Uh, so long as each of you has one coin and whoever ends up with the biggest coin, uh, two pound coin, 50p, whatever the physically largest is, is going to be the person who tells the truth, okay? So the questions I'm going to ask you are going to be a bit weird. They're going to be about things that seem nonsensical, or they might be specifically about another person. I might say, is she a liar? I might say, is she a liar? Uh, or it might be something completely random about cycling or trousers or trombones, or who knows what might go on. It's crazy. So uh, my job is I'm kind of the psychic detective, and I've got to work out from all these lies and truth who's got the target coin, okay? okay. And don't get confused. If, if Take your time for the answers. So, um, because it might seem obvious if I'm asking you a question about have you ever been to Greece, but then you might think if I'm saying, oh, is she a liar? Oh, she is a liar, but then I'm lying, so I've got to say she's telling the truth. So just take a moment to pause and think, okay? There's no, there's no wrong answers. It, it, you can't take too long. Just take your time and have a think about it. But most of all, have a bit of fun, okay? Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to go over there, so I don't know who's got the coin. Uh, you're all going to have a coin. So one of the biggest coins of truth teller. I'll be back in a minute, okay? okay. okay. Okay, we're ready. Cool, so everyone's got a coin. Mm -hmm. One of you's got the target coin, which is a big coin, whatever that might have been. And it's either in your pocket or in your hand. And, and you know what your role is now because you know what the coin is. And you know what everyone else's role is. You know who's the liars and who's the truth tellers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so some questions. I'm going to ask you first of all. 
when you were a child, did you ever have a green tricycle? Yes. Okay. Are you two playing the same role in this little game? Yes. Okay. Would you consider taking her on a cycling holiday? Um. <laughs> No. Would you consider taking her on a cycling holiday? No. Shall I? Yes. <laughs> Would you consider going on a cycling holiday with her? Um, no. Hmm, okay. Oh, no. George. <laughs> Is it true that when you were a youth you had some yellow trousers? Yes. Good. <laughs> Shall I? Yes. Did you have any yellow trousers when you were young? <laughs> yes. Is he a liar? Yes. Do you own a trombone? No. <laughs> if he owned a trombone, would you play it? Yes. Do you think he's a liar? <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. Do you think it's possible that, in fact, he is a trombone playing, yellow trouser wearing, green tricycle cyclist. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So I've now um, worked out through the confusion what I think is going on. But it's all confusing, isn't it? If any, the rest of you figured out what's going on, it's, it seems yeah. crazy. But nevertheless, uh, I think I've got it just. So, so I'm going to close my eyes, and now you're going to say the same thing. It doesn't matter who the liar is and who the truth teller is, you're going to say exactly the same thing to me. You're going to say out loud one at a time, starting here and going around, I've got the coin. That's all you're going to say, okay? okay. So yeah. if you haven't got the coin in your hand, now reach into your pocket and get it. And then we're going to say, I'm the coin, I've got the coin, I've got the coin, I've got the coin. So, let's start here. I've got the coin. 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 Liar. Liar. <laughs> Tromboning liar. <laughs> liar. Truth teller liar. Let me see if you've got the biggest coin. Ooh, a sweaty 50 pence. You can keep that as a gift. So for this last part of the show, Rachel, you're going to help me with this. Okay. Um, it's very easy, and you're going to be the star. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I need to um, take you one step to the side. You guys talk about yourselves for a moment. Uh, I need to show you something secret. Okay. Okay, let's go. So. All set. Mm -hmm. Cool. So it's going to go up the way. These are shuffle. It's this easy. I want you to take any card out. Don't let me see. Don't let Rachel see. Drop it back in. Now you might be expecting me to try and do something now, right? I don't need to. I've got a Rachel. So take the deck. Hold the cards up. Step back a bit so no one can see what you're doing. Do your thing. Make sure no one sees. Put the cards on the table. What was your card? Ace of hearts. The ace of hearts? Yeah. Boom. The ace of hearts. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's try it again. So um, take a card out. Make sure it's attached anyway, Rachel, so that you can't Sorry. see. Cool. All good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn my head away as well. Show the camera, show the guys. You done? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I just say stop now anytime you want. Stop. Put it back. Somewhere in there. I don't need to do anything. Rachel, just take a step back, <laughs> do your thing. Rachel's a witch. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Put the cards down on there. But I'll tell you what, we're going to put them on the box just because it's difficult to pick up off here. Okay. So I'll just pop them on top of the box so we've got a little platform. Cool. Um, what was your card? Four spades. Four spades? Four spades. Did you change mine? No. No, did Rachel. Turn over the top card and show. No. <laughs> 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 oh, don't leave me hanging. <laughs> Cool. Right, let's try it again. This time, again, turn your head away. George, you're going to take a card out. Okay. Uh, I won't look. Show everyone, don't let me see what it is. Yeah. Okay, it's going to go exactly back in the deck where you took it from. Okay. Okay, just here. Okay, only now am I going to turn around. Yeah. Still not going to look at the deck. Rachel, <laughs> take the deck, don't let anyone see what you're doing. She can't get this. Don't let anyone see, cut the deck. Do whatever you need to do, do the thing. <laughs> Put the cards down. What was the card? 
Eight of clubs. The Ace of Clubs. Eight of the clubs. Eight of Clubs. I knew that's what you said. I was mishearing you on purpose for, for the comedic value of it all. Oh, the oh, Eight oh. of Clubs. Yeah. I'm not going to touch it. She's not going to touch it. Do it yourself. Go. Boom. Turn it over. Freak out. The oh. Eight of Clubs. <laughs> boom. Hey. Okay, listen. Oh. I want to do one more thing for you. Rachel wants to do one more thing for you because it's all about Rachel, not about me. I'm just going to give her some more secret instructions. We'll be back in a second. That's okay. crazy. How? <laughs> I don't get it. It's so weird. I chose any card. I don't like this. And how is Rachel now? Yeah, Rachel of all people. But how? So how he must have made us pick the one he wants to pick. I don't get it because he just like went like that and you just pick a random one. Yeah, that's what I definitely chose any card. Definitely. Ooh, you just take one step back. Is alright? Thank you. Just as they never did do that, won't you see? So um, now, be honest. Um, did you know what card he was going to pick before he picked it? No. Did you know what card she was going to pick oh. before she picked it? <laughs> it would be, That's not fair. That would be impossible, right, for, yeah. for you to know those things. So, two people are going to pick cards now. Do you know what card she's going to pick? No, you know what card she's going to pick? No, you couldn't know. It'd be impossible. Yeah. So, the reason is we haven't picked them yet. So, let's do it that yeah. now, okay? So, just say stop anytime you want. Stop. Yeah, just going to put them there for now, okay? Yeah. yeah. Still? I'll give you a little shuffle up. And, you, and you're going to say stop. Stop. Okay, just here. We're just going to kind of leave them at an angle so we know exactly where we are. Okay. okay? Yeah. Now, there's no way you could know beforehand what the cards were. There's no way you could know. Now, they are. do you know what your card is that you stopped me at? No? Do you know what the card is? I don't know. Okay. Let's put them here. Do you know? Think about it. Just zone in. Two cards here. Just think about what they could have picked. Got anything in mind? This. This is yeah. not just, just say, just say. <laughs> Queen of Hearts. Two, two aces we've got here. What do you say? Queen of Hearts and the Two of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts. Yeah. And the Two of Hearts. No. No. No, no it can't. No. <laughs> the Queen of Hearts and the. <laughs> boom. Oh. <laughs> Listen. Rachel, oh. What is this? Let's take this all the stage further. So. We'll give him a shuffle up. So this time, you're going to pick a card. Right. Okay? Yeah. I want you to turn away. I'm going to turn my head away. Just take a card out. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. No, keep turning. Still, sorry, sorry. My bad. Just drop it back in. Cheater, Rich. <laughs> okay. You think you can pick a different one if you think you saw no, what it was. Yeah, okay. Cool. So this time... I'm going to show you the deck. In fact, just take a step back with me because I want you to see the whole deck. I don't want the other guys to see. I'm going to fan the deck out. And it'll almost be of all these cards, like one specific card jumping out at you, right? Yeah. It's the only one you can see. Yeah. Have you, got, have you got one in mind? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is mental, isn't it? Yeah? yeah. Don't, don't say anything. Yeah. But you think you know what it is? Yeah. Don't even look at me. Don't look at the cards. Can you see your card in the middle of the deck somewhere? Yeah. And you've got a card in mind? What card do you think he's thinking of? Six of clubs. Go away, Rachel. Was it six of clubs? Oh, yes. Boom! Boom! Oh, boom! Amazing. Don't even try that again. Okay. <laughs> Listen, let's do this again. I'm so confused. So this time, yeah. um, she's going to be holding the whole deck. Okay? okay? She'll have the whole deck the whole time. I'll be doing nothing. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Cool. So you take the deck. What I want you to do is I want you to cut. Decide now whether you're going to get a lot of the cards, a few of the cards, yeah. three quarters, half. Have you got in your mind what you want to do? Yeah. Okay, pick that many up and put them on here. Okay, and then just put those on at a slight angle so we can see where we're at. It's all good. Yeah, have a good view. So we're all going to turn away. All of us, including me and you. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to um, pick up the packet, have a look at the card. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so do that. Don't let anyone hold it against your chest. Don't let anyone else see what it is. Got it? Yeah, so I'll put it back. Yeah, have a look at what it is. Back, show the camera. And then put it back and square the deck up. Cool. Can we all turn around? Okay, all turn back in. Okay, so, so you're thinking of a card right now. Yeah. I genuinely don't know what it is, and you genuinely don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? No. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? No. Okay, I, I want you to hone in. I, 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 and so do you think that the card she's thinking of is a red card or a black card? Black, okay. Is it black? Okay. <laughs> Do you think it was a club or a spade? Club? What is it? Was it a club? Yeah. Okay. 
Right, do you think it was a number card or do you think it was a picture card? A picture? Oh my God. Was it a picture card? <laughs> oh. ah, so we've got three to go, the Jack, Queen and King. Just listen, just put your finger out like this. Put your finger out like this. Me? Yeah, just fingers. Jack, Queen or King? Queen? Yeah. Was it the Queen of Clubs? Yeah. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom. Oh so, listen, no, I'm really going to take it one step further, okay? So, let's just give these another shuffle up. In fact, I'll tell you what, will you give them a little shuffle for me? Because you might think every time, oh, we shuffle them up. So, I'm going to give um, Rachel one last little instruction while you're shuffling those. Okay? So, can we? Where's Alex? Okay, so here's how this is going to work. Um, this time you're going to take a card out, yeah. okay? You're going to show the camera, no one else is going to see what it is. Okay, so we're all going to turn away, you turn away, you turn away, you turn away. Yeah. You take a card out, just one. Take a second to show the camera and burn it in the amount it's important, you don't forget it. Done? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And so, um, listen, uh, just drop it back in. Cool. And then we'll give these cards a little cut. And the cards are going to go onto your hand face up. Okay. And I'm never going to touch them again. Be careful, it's a little bit windy, okay? Just hold on to them tight. Yeah. So you pick the card out. No one knows what it is except you. It's shuffled and cut into the deck. I'm never going to touch the cards again. So even if I did know what it was or where it was, there's nothing I can do. Okay? Yeah. So there's 52 cards in a deck, right? So I want you to think of a number between 1 and 52. Don't say it out loud, just think of one. Okay. Okay, change your mind and think of a different one. Okay. Now, be honest, could I, could I, I mean, I've been helping you giving secret instruction. None of these guys don't know anything. But right now, could even I know what that number is 100%? No. No percent, because you just change your mind. Yeah. And I don't know what you change it to or from, so it's impossible. Yeah. And just be front, up front with everybody. I didn't go in there and say to you, just say three. No. Okay? So, and you have literally changed your mind. So, yeah. so 100%, I don't know the number. The okay, only yeah. person, is it true that the only person who knows the number is you? Yeah. Okay. And that, even if I did know it, I can't touch the deck, he's shuffled it, but I'm not going to touch the deck, okay? So for the first time, what was the card? Eight of hearts. The eight of hearts, okay. And for the first time, what number did you get? 42. 42, okay. Don't do this, Rachel. Oh. Now, I, I, turn the deck over, obviously. We're going to deal 42 cards. 42. 42, it's 42, you said, yeah? Yeah. One, One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, wait a minute, forty. Eight of eight of hearts, forty-two, forty-one. Forty-one. With as much showmanship as you can imagine, turn it over. Listen, um, thanks for watching this. I've been Mark Elston, but that doesn't matter because this has been Rachel. Yay! Yay!